Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a graphical Python form which I've already done in the previous tutorial and also validate certain input fields um, within that form. So essentially if you want to make sure that certain fields need to be filled in before the form can proceed to registering details, this can be learned from this tutorial. So without any further delays, let's get into it. First of all, what you want to do is um, import everything from Tikinta. So from Tikinta import star. After that, we're going to create our first screen, which is going to be TK. Set the screen size. Um, we'll work with a 500 by 500, like we always do. Scrap this screen title to Python form validation. It's up to you, you can change it to anything you like as well. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple and basic. What we want to do next is create a heading for the for the window that will open up or for our software for our application that we're creating. So we'll uh, create a label. The text for the label is going to be Python form validation. Um, the foreground will be black. Um, the background will be set to grey the width is going to be 500 and the height will be around 3 okay and then what we're going to do is just do a dot pack on there just saving as another line so when we run this we should have a heading on our software which we just created, which we have here, Python form validation, and we also have the title and geometry set. If this is going over your mind, um, it's probably because you are you haven't been introduced to Tikinta before. If you're a beginner at Tikinta, I'd recommend you watching uh, my previous tutorial on this, where I've explained everything pretty basic. Um, I'll be linking the link to the previous video in the description, so please do make sure to check it out if you're new. Anyway, um, proceeding, what we're going to have to do next is in this program, we're going to have two entry fields, one for a username and one for a password. So username. Um, so we need before before we do anything, we actually need to um, create the labels for the username and password. So the entries can have like a title. So we'll do username. We don't even. So we'll do username entry design entry label equals capital label text or I will show you a new method actually this time so if you want to avoid having to use variables all you can do is type in label and then we carry on text equals um, username so since it's required we're going to put an asterisk um, after that, we're also going to, that should be it for the label. So we're going to place it on the screen, which from where X is going to be 15. So from the left, we're going to have 15. And from Y, we're going to have around, let's say 50 for now. And we'll also create another label with the text saying password. And another asterisk because it's required. And we'll place it. Um, on the same margin so 15 and y will be increased by like let's say 120 we'll run this to see how it works so far and as you see right here um the space between the username and password is right but we need to increase the space from the top a bit more so we'll go ahead and change the y to around let's say a good 70 and we'll change that to 140 so once we're done with the labels, we move on to creating the entries. Before you create the entries, you also you want to create variables that will store the information from the entry. So we'll create two variables, username, username equals and password equals. So the username is going to be a string variable since it could be both integers and string characteristics, I mean. And we're going to use string variable for password as well once we're done with that we move on to creating the entry element where the entry is going to sit on the screen and the text variable is going to be username 
So all we're saying to the entry is that you're going to be sitting on the screen and your text, whatever is entered inside this, should be saved to username. Um, we'll do the same with the password. Uh, we'll change this to password. P-E-S-S. W-O-R-D. And then we need to place them. So we're going to place them right below the the labels we created before so x equals 15 and y will probably equal around 90 and then we'll place this one too x equals 15 and y would equal I would say 160 I'm just gonna run this real quick just to check if everything's working so far alright that's uh, almost perfect but I'm just gonna increase the height 10, 10 more than what it was so we'll make this 100 and we'll make this 170. After that, we want to create the button that is going to um, run the function behind this, which is registering the user. We're not actually going to be registering any user. We're just going to be shouting out to the user saying your account has been registered. If you want to have a look at a tutorial which actually shows you how to save details entered into a form into a text file, I will link the video in the description as well. But for now, we're just going to validate those details. So the button's going to be serving as a validation function runner. So it's going to call the validation function every time it's clicked. So the button's going to be sitting on the screen and the command, the text for it is going to be register, obviously. And then find, um, we might as well increase the width a bit more than it usually is. So we'll do that to like a good seven and then the background will be set to gray um, the command would be set to register and now we can place it place x equals 15 comma y equals I will leave it around um, 190 and now since we've given this command of register we need to go up here and create a function called register so that it doesn't generate any errors otherwise so this function will be called every time every time the button is clicked so I'll show you a quick example if you run this real quick um, every time we click on this hello world will be reproduced right here okay um, this height is a bit less so I'm going to do that to, to 210 okay so now that we have everything functioning what we want to do is get the values from of the username and password so username text equals username dot get I will explain that what that means in a second and password text equals password dot get so now that we have the information related to the username and password right here since once we enter it here it's going to be saved here we can get that information and assign it to these two variables in here so we don't have to globally get it um, sorted so this function is going to grab all the input from the user including the username and the password so now this is the part for the validation what we do here is we're going to create a statement saying if username text equals this I mean um, quotation marks which means nothing what we're going to do is we're going to create a pop-up window that is going to say to the user um, all details required so please enter the details or we cannot proceed so how we're going to do that pop-up window is going to be we're going to create a screen one and equal that to top level of the screen so we're creating another window within this window pretty much so if this window is destroyed it wouldn't affect the main window I'm pretty confusing but I hope you understood that so once we're done with that like we did before we're just gonna set a geometry for that which is according to me I think 150 by 90 should be okay um, screen one dot title warning Okay, and now we're just gonna put a simple label on the screen saying label on we need this label to be sitting on screen one 
and the text on the label will be all fields um, required okay. and then what we can also do is change the foreground to red since it's an error and then we'll pack it on the screen we don't even have to place it we will do the same with the password text if password text equals this what we're going to do is um, actually what we could do to make our lives a lot more easier is put this into a little function so copy all the code go here create a new function called um, error and then we'll paste the code right here so this way we can reuse the same function again without having to repeat the code and it will cause execution a lot faster as well so once we've packed that we also I will show you how it works so since that is defined as error function we're just going to do error and call the function right here and we'll go here and call the function one more time just align that yeah and then if I run this real quick um, I forgot that we need to do elif here or it's going to produce an error as well and then finally we need to do else as well let's just do else and then what we do for else is if there is data being entered into the form there should be a label produced on screen text should be equal to um, what's it what should we do we should probably just say user has been registered successfully has been registered successfully okay and we're just gonna pack that for now I mean we need to place it actually so x equals 15 and y would equal to 230 for now okay now we're gonna run this real quick and hopefully there's no errors all right we have a form running as we see right here since we have no details in the username and password the the validation kicks in and when we click on register it says all fields required um, if we enter anything in here it sh and we click on the register it won't give us the error it will say user has been registered successfully this is just a plain text but you can learn how to save that to a text file in the video I will link in the description but this is working so far so if I clear this text up again and if I do register it will do that and if we close this real quick the thing with this is um, I would prefer this to be in a pop-up window as well so for that we're just gonna create another function saying success and we'll copy pretty much the same code right here because it's gonna be the same thing we're just gonna change this to screen 2 instead of screen 1 and it should be good to go screen 2, screen 2 registration success okay so if I run this program again there is like a minor problem with this which can be solved really easily um, if you see here when we click on this we have to click on the close button it would be great if we had like a button saying OK, which if we clicked here would close the window automatically. That's exactly what we need to do right now. So what we want to do is create insert a button as well, which is going to be called um, obviously button. Then it's going to be on screen one. The text is going to be OK. And then the command will be delete. That's what we're using for now. And then we create another function called delete. And that function delete will grab the screen one and it will destroy it, which means it will just um, take off to all, all the elements on screen one and just keep the main screen, which was screen, which we used in the beginning, um, which is uh, this screen right here. That's why we use top top level instead of creating CK again. Otherwise, all the windows would be destroyed. So in order for this screen one to be destroyed, we need to globalize the variable. So we have to do global 
screen one. Okay, and now in order for this to work as well, we're gonna have to create another one called delete one possibly, and then we'll do screen two dot destroy. So we take we take the same thing as here, and we're just gonna paste it inside success as well because we want that window to automatically be able to close, and the command will be delete one. Hopefully this works without any errors when we run this. Um, we're going to run this real quickly. And if we do that. Okay, I completely forgot that we had to pack the button as well. So we just need to add dot pack in the end. That's why it doesn't show up. Okay, and now we're going to run this again. Um, register. And as you see right here, all fields required. If we click OK, um, it destroys. It destroys only this, this window, this little window right here. It wouldn't affect any of this. But if you were to instead of type in top level, if you were to type in TK, this window would be closed as well, which is pretty annoying and wouldn't make sense because you only want to close the pop up, right? We're gonna also create a register registration right now, so. And the password will be one two three. We'll just register this. Um, user has been registered successfully. I'm not sure. Okay. So we haven't changed here. So all we have to do here is type in success and this. So the success function which we created earlier will be run instead of just saying the plain text. Click OK. One two three. We just click on register and we have an error. Okay. Name success is not defined. A spelling mistake okay we run this again and hopefully it works this time what went wrong screen one is not defined okay once again we've messed up um, on just renaming all the variables I had to rename this to screen two since we copied and pasted it and I didn't bother to change it before. So if we do one, two, one, two. As we see right here, we have registration success. Click OK. Um, if we click OK, it should have destroyed screen two. But the problem is we haven't done global. So global screen two so that it can be accessed right here. And then also we could change the text to green since it's not a warning but like a good thing that the account has been registered successfully. Yeah, if we restart this, um, register registration success, perfect, okay. Now we clear all this, um, register all fields required. So as you see right here, we've come to a point where we've achieved everything. Don't worry about the errors in the background there from the one we ran before. If we run this again, it shouldn't have any errors. All right, so if we leave the form blank and we register, it says all fields required. This is like a software requirement and everything so that um, user is not able to get away with like a blank password or a blank username or we wouldn't be able to authenticate him or her. So I'll put this again and as you see right here, everything's working fine. My next tutorial um, is going to be about how to create a registration system using Python and the one after is going to be how to create a login system using Python. So if you're interested in those, please make sure to type it down in the comments and um, let me know about it. I will be posting them soon anyway, so please make sure you're, you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out of, on any of these tutorials. I'll be linking the code in the description as well. Um, another thing I wanted to say is a huge thank you to you guys for helping me reach 141 subscribers so far. It's a huge achievement for me. Also, thanks for all the support on all the recent videos. You guys are absolutely smashing it. Um, so please make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe and help me reach my target of 1000 subscribers. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.